Adebayor sprinted the whole pitch to celebrate in front of Arsenal fans when he scored against his former team. Fans have gone to recreate the celebration and make memes about it. Uh, best celebration of all time. Everyone got theirs? Uh, we'll start with Bard. What's the greatest celebration of all time? This has to do with the moment as well. Addy Bayor. Just like that as well. Right. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. Addy Bayor's goal. Normal goal. Celebration. Mm. Probably the longest celebration, actually. Probably. This guy had <laughs> stamina that day. Ran. The fastest <laughs> I've ever seen him run. <laughs> That's probably the best day for recycling companies as well. They had to pick up all the stuff that uh, the fans threw on the pitch. Longest uh, celebration. Best day for... In an interview when Adebayo was asked about the incident, he responded, and I quote, what was going through my head? A prisoner is out. A prisoner is free. Adebayo added, I played for the club for three and a half years. You bought me for three million pound. I still have five years of my contract and you let me go for 20 million more. And you are telling me I am the one leaving for money and abusing me. But wait, how did we get to this point? Let's run it back a bit. Born the 26th of February, 1984, is a Togolese former professional footballer who played as a striker. Hi, hi guys. As you can see, it's your boy, Sheyi Emmanuel Adebayo, straight from West Africa. During his career, he played for English clubs, Arsenal, Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur and Crystal Palace but his Arsenal life is what we are interested in. In total, Adebayo scored 62 goals in 142 Arsenal appearances after joining the club from Monaco in January 2006. Now we're done with a quick recap, let's move on. According to the deal, inside the world of a super agent, a book published by John Smith which covers an in-depth excavation of the murky and mysterious world of football business. In life, things may not be as they seem at the surface. As Marcus Aurelius once said, and I quote, look beneath the surface, never let a thing's intrinsic quality or worth escape you. When the idea of Adebayo moving was first introduced, Initially, he responded in a very positive manner to the idea of completing a transfer to Manchester City. Adebayo advised that for him to leave Arsenal, everything needed to be right, as he was enjoying his life as a gunner and mentioned he was happy at Arsenal. John Smith, in his book, didn't hesitate to interpret what Adebayo meant by things have to be right for him to leave. He says it simply meant that Adebayo just wanted more money. Meanwhile, Abu Dhabi United Group had just bought City, and their influx of cash meant they could afford to splash it anyhow. The deal took a while for terms to be drafted, and the more it delayed, Adebayo seemed to change his mind and was opting for a stay instead. All his Man City financial demands kept going up. He seemed to want to stay at Arsenal after all. But Arsene Wenger grew fade up of the back and forths of the transfer. At that point, Arsene Wenger reportedly put his arm around Adebayo and politely but firmly told him that the bridge has basically been crossed now. The manager told the striker he could stay, but he might end up in the reserves if he did. With that, the two clubs finalized a deal and Adebayo joined City. Another version came out in 2022. When the 40-year-old told TRT World, via Standard. I had a meeting with Arsene Wenger in his office when he told me I had to leave because he doesn't see my future anymore in Arsenal. I have to move on in my life. I was like, I'm going to stay. He was like, no, there is not even a fight organized. We are not going to organize any fight for you. You move out or you stay here and don't play any games. So I didn't have any other choice than joining Man City, who I was very happy to join. Meeting with uh, Asan Wenger in his office where he told me that uh, I have to leave because uh, he doesn't see my future anymore in Arsenal. I have to move on in my life. And I'm like, I'm going to stay. He's like, no, there is not even a fight organized. We are not going to organize any fight for you. You move out or you stay here, you don't play any game. So I don't have any other choice than joining Man City, which I'm very happy to join. 
And the next day when Ajema City I saw him doing a press conference. That's Adebayo's version of the events leading to his move to Man City. Perhaps by that point, Arsene Wenger was fed up with Adebayo messing the two clubs around. Maybe he just wanted to get the deal over the line so he could put the Adebayo money into some other plans. Whatever his reasoning, it seems like Wenger had a bigger part to play in the striker's departure. Justifying Adebayo's record sprinting celebrating in front of Arsenal fans. Adebayo was fined for celebrating in front of the Arsenal fans after scoring for City at the Etihad. And the next day when I joined Manchester City, I saw him doing a press conference in London saying that I wanted to leave because the money was big and everything, and since that day, that is where the hate for Arsenal they came from. I saw him doing a press conference in London saying that I wanted to leave because the money was big and everything, and for me, since that day, that's where the hate for Arsenal came from. Not for the fans, because the fans are the first English fans to sing my name in London. The Togo international, who was fined £25,000 for the incident, stands by his decision to provoke the Arsenal supporters and insists it was justified. Adebayo didn't end there. He went on to brand Wenger as fake compared to Jose Mourinho. And every time he gets an opportunity, he says it clearly that he hates Arsenal, especially Arsene Wenger. It's also a business. Maybe that's the point that Adebayo didn't understand. Let's just assume Arsene Wenger saw this deal as yes, a good business move. Adebayo has come up in recent years and has told Arsenal fans to move on, even though he says he doesn't regret what he did in 2009. Although when asked whether he would do it again, he said definitely not. He said that was the only way to get even as he was being abused and fans singing insulting his parents. Adebayo! Can we say he betrayed Arsenal fans? Maybe yes, maybe no. The Gunners supporters only know their ex-striker chose oil money and ran across the field to celebrate in their face. They don't know the insides of the story, only Adebayo's version. Of course, Leprov doesn't have time for this.